Hello, my friends of Prince of Peace. Tyler here with your weekend update for October 1st, the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And diving right in, our cover this week is the, uh, the Blessed Mother. This is a lovely statue located at Holy Trinity. And you'll also notice that we have our Rosary Rally set for October 7th. We're going to line up at 930 in downtown Lisbon Falls. Now, this is going to be a reparation rosary for the conversion of sinners around the world, led by Father Raja. We're going to meet downtown Lisbon Falls. We're going to meet at 1 Canal Street, the former Warumbo Mill site. So it's now a big public parking lot. So as you're coming uh, 196 toward Topsom, right there at the dam and the waterfall, you take that right at the light. And uh, the parking lot's immediately on your right. We're all going to meet there at 930. And promptly at 10 o'clock, we're going to start our rosary rally where we process up Main Street, Lisbon Falls. We go up to School Street. We go around the public park and back down Main Street. The whole route is one mile. And uh, we're going to be praying the rosary along the way. It's a reparation rosary, so there's going to be prayers in between every Hail Mary. We're going to have hymns led by the Prince of Peace Children's Choir. Uh, we have a, a litter with the Blessed Mother to... to uh, lead us forward and it's going to be a wonderful event uh so come on out for that starts 9 9 30 line up 10 o'clock we're going to start the rally we're going to finish with a litany of saints back in the parking lot and then all are welcome over to holy trinity hall for a potluck lunch so please come out for that if you're unable to walk we are going to live stream this event right to the holy family hall and onto our parish website so everyone in the area can join us in prayer so this week, uh, we're going to add the gospel reading in. So our, our reading this week comes from Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 through 32. So Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, what is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards, he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, the first. Jesus said to them, amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. So that is our Gospel reading for this weekend, the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Coming up September 30th, the Knights of Columbus here at Holy Family are hosting a spaghetti dinner to help raise money for coats for kids. As the weather turns cold, we want to help support them in that. So come to the Holy Family Hall on the... Uh, the 30th, so that's Saturday, for a classic parish spaghetti dinner. Help raise money for Coats for Kids. October 4th, at, uh, it's a Wednesday. We've got the, uh, the Blessing of the Animals in honor of St. Francis on the Basilica French Porch. So 4 o'clock on October 4th, come on out for a Blessing of the Animals right on the front steps, uh, front lawn of the Basilica. And then October 14th, sing a joyful song, a one-day music retreat held at Sacred Heart in Auburn. All are welcome to go to that. Go to our website, look for the icon. Uh, I believe it's a $10 registration and lunch is included. So sing a joyful song, a one-day music retreat hosted by the Axe community of Prince of Peace and Immaculate Heart. October 22nd, called Youth Ministry Returns. So this is going to be youth ministry for grades 9 through 12. So if you've got a, a high school student, come on out for that. That's the 5 p.m. Mass at Holy Family with Father Dan, followed by The Search Begins, What Do You Seek? So Steve and Katie Karen, along with their, uh, their teens, are going to head us off. Uh, every teen that comes is going to get a special, uh, special Bible just for them, as well as... Uh, uh, access to the search begins. So how do you equip your teen for, for life? What what are you searching for? What do you seek? What's God's plan for you as you go off to college and maybe get your first job and then get your first taste of, uh, of freedom? How do you discern God's will and how do you stay Catholic in this crazy secular world? So that's going to be a once a month meeting. It's going to be uh, October 22nd, the first one. They're going to kick off with a with a potluck dinner and then a discussion and, and uh it's going to be led by Steve, Katie, Karen, and Father Dan, so definitely want to bring your teens out for that. Also on October 22nd, it's the 100th anniversary masses 
for Holy Cross and Holy Family. So 100 years ago, those were established as, uh, as parishes. So we want to honor that. So you notice in the bulletin uh, going forward for the month of October, we're going to have little blurbs about uh, each church. So look for that, that fun fact. History going forward in October 22nd during the 8.30 and the 11 a.m. Mass, Holy Cross and Holy Family. It's going to be a special celebration of that 100th anniversary. October 28th, we have a men's retreat coming to Holy Trinity in Lisbon Falls. It's a free men's retreat uh, put on by the Prince of Peace Men's Group. So Devin Schott, a, a Catholic author and speaker, the uh, founder of the Fathers of St. Joseph, is going to come out, talk to the men about getting your house in order, knowing your identity and mission. This is a free retreat. If you know someone who... Uh, who could use a little bit of encouragement. Uh, maybe you know someone who's not Catholic. Bring them out to this retreat. It's for all men. It's, it's a free thing. So the, the Prince of Peace Knights of Columbus is going to have, uh, have lunch prepared for us. So do please register online uh, just so we can get a head count for lunch. That's a free retreat, October 28th. And then that evening, again at Holy Trinity, the families are hosting an All Saints Day party for the kiddos. So there's going to be uh, Dad Drawn Hay Rides. Trunk or Treat, those classic uh, fall games, bobbing for apples, the donuts on a string, um, and a potluck dinner. So it's All Saints Day, so come dressed as your favorite saint. Uh, so it's going to be a potluck dinner, all kinds of fun activities and prayers for the kids. It's a great family gathering. So one of the, one of the beautiful things about the church is that we're a community, and so the community does things together. And so a lot of that is bringing your kids, bringing your grandkids. So come on out for that. Um, you know, it's, 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 we're going to have the trunk or treat. We're going to have the, the classic Halloween games, but also we're going to, we're going to keep it fun and holy. So come dressed as your favorite saint, all saints day party. Watch for more information. I wrote down October 30th. I don't, oh, it's because September 30th was the spaghetti dinner and I was already fast forwarded into October. So scratch that November 15th. St. Jude, the Apostle to the Impossible, is coming to, to Prince of Peace Parish. So uh, the Vatican has, has sent on tour the, the relic of St. Jude the Apostle, the cousin of Jesus, one of the original 12. And so he is coming to America to, to help, help, help the hopeless, right? Um, so it's, he's coming for, for, vener to, for veneration to help lift up our prayers. So a lot of people often turn to St. Jude when all hope seems lost. And so... Uh, the reliquary that contains the arm bone of St. Jude is coming to the Basilica of St. Peter and Paul on November 15th. It's going to be from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Uh, we're going to have confessions. We're going to have veneration. 6.30 is going to be a special mass. Following that, we're going to have some hospitality down in the Basilica Hall. Uh, so come on out for that. If you remember the, the relics exhibit that we had here at Holy Family, where you had all kinds of relics from, from various saints, including... Uh, relics from the Holy Family and, and from the True Cross. This is the same uh, priest from the Vatican who's coming, the same ministry that's coming back. This will be the only stop in Maine, so it should be a pretty big event. And uh, this time it's just St. Jude, so so they're, they're sending him on tour to, to help help bring hope to those in America. And a free will collection will be taken up to help cover the cost of the tour. So there is no charge, there is no registration. This tour of, of the United States is being done solely on the free will of the people to help support it. And any additional funds that are being raised are going to help restore the chapel in Rome that was damaged by water and lightning strikes. So we definitely want to support that worthy cause. As St. Jude has certainly interceded for us um, to God the Almighty Father on our behalf for many of our causes. All that and more can be found in this week's bulletin. Check it out. Uh, men's group is starting a new series called Finding Joy this this weekend. October first is the uh, uh, September thirtieth is the introduction. So we're going to run that all the way through the the end of the year. So if if you haven't been a men's group, come check that out. All that and more can be found in this week's bulletin. Uh, be sure to pick one up after mass. We've got a lot of things happening. We've got faith formation started. We've got retreats coming up. Uh, we've had seven people join our RCA program. So we certainly want to keep. All those who are discerning if the Catholic faith is right for them in our prayers. So be sure to, if, if you've got time, be sure to offer up a prayer of thanksgiving that our church is growing and people are coming to know who the one true God is and just what he wants in their lives. Thanks be to God. So be sure to pick up your copy of the Bolt after, after, after Mass. And God bless you all. We'll see you soon.